I think it's very hard to understand what it's like to be homeless if you've never been homeless. I can tell stories, but there's something else when you're sitting with somebody and looking into their eyes. I've had the chance to sit down with people who, you know, have lived pretty normal lives and then experienced homelessness for the first time. Well, I mean, it's tough. I was in the hospital four and a half months and I'm a renter, so naturally I lost my place. It's the last resort for them. You know, they've called family, they've called friends, they've worn out their welcome, possibly. Well, it's made me an outcast, a bit of an outcast, and given me social problems, and that's the big thing, eh? Is it isolates you from the rest of the human race. They end up at our shelter alone, frightened, in a, in a new place, it's a, it's, it's, a, it's a welcoming place, but it's still a shelter and you're sleeping on a mat and there are 370 people around you. Just imagine that. I pretty much felt that it was the end of my life. We've got to give people a glimmer of hope because they've hit the bottom. And that's where the mustard seed comes in and our amazing staff to just sit down with them and say, I believe in you. I believe in you that this is not the end of the line, that there is hope and with the right steps, you can move forward. I think I have the best employment coach at the mustard seed. And they have chiropractors that come in, they have a housing program, they have uh, spiritual programs and everything, haircut programs. It's amazing that these people put their time and effort into helping people. They're just there for me, you know, and I can feel free to talk to them. They've gone above and beyond the call of duty. I'm amazed at the kind of help and the grace, like the help that I've gotten. Dealing with people experiencing these challenges day in and day out, it's hard. Uh, and so I don't expect the average citizen of Calgary to always be thinking about this issue. My life still has its challenges, but it lets me face them with the rare combination of support, independence, and dignity. I'm 47 years old now, and it's been a long struggle. And uh, you know, it's my, my primary life goal is to move forward and to, and to thrive in life rather than just survive. You know, I'm just grateful for this place, and you know, I'm, uh, I'm on the move out of here on Thursday. 25th, I'm uh, going to be moving to Regina and I uh, got a, a job down there on a farm, my passion. Never give out of guilt. It's not a healthy emotion, but giving out of uh, a, a place or a space of giving back to the community to make this a better place and to help somebody's life, that is a great way. Mm -hmm.